Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Alex, and we are Rocket Board. Before I get started, I'm just going to get something up on the whiteboard. So we'll get started with the video of what it is that we do. Um, but if you're into it, go up here and rocketboard.it and um, we're going to be launching on Kickstarter probably next week and we'll let you know um, if you sign our email list when, when it started and we'll put you in a raffle to uh, win 10 free seats um, of our team edition. So without further ado, I'll get started with the video. This is where we work, at the whiteboard. This is where our ideas start. It's where they grow and evolve. This is where we brainstorm and create and change our minds. This is where everything comes together. But what if we don't all work here? What if the people you work with are everywhere? Just because your team has left the conference room doesn't mean you need to leave the whiteboard. Introducing Rocketboard. Rocketboard lets you share your whiteboard with anyone, anywhere. Clients, colleagues, friends, and family can all log in remotely and see your whiteboard update in real time. All they need is an internet connection, and all you need is your whiteboard and your mobile device. Setting up a session is easy. Open the Rocketboard app and position your device so its camera can see the whiteboard. Drawing a small triangle in each corner tells the app how large the board is. With all four triangles in view, push launch and you're ready to get started. Rocketboard automatically corrects the perspective and optimizes the image. It even identifies a person standing in front of the board and removes them. So the only thing left to worry about is coming up with your next great idea. As you write, occasionally step out of the way and the session will refresh online. So your team stays up to date and you stay focused on what you're doing. Want to take a snapshot of your board before you change it? There's no need to even leave the app. Simply place your hand in front of the camera. Rocketboard automatically saves the current whiteboard and syncs with many popular services. So even if you've erased everything, you can review it all again later. What about whiteboards in multiple locations? Just set up a Rocketboard session for each one. So while you're sharing your board with a client, they can be sharing theirs with you. Rocketboard makes it easy to connect with your team no matter where they are. So you can spend less time getting everyone on the same page and more time getting things on the board. After all, this is where we work. Any whiteboard users in the audience? All right, right on. Great. What questions do you have for us? Does it work with my idea paint walls? Can I draw four corners? It does, yeah. That's partly why we designed it to put um, where you have to draw triangles instead of uh, looking for the, the edges of the whiteboard. Great question. Thanks. Very cool, first of all. Um, I guess my question is how. I, I'll give you a scenario. I've got, you know, I can scan my check and it's so sensitive to light, it drives me nuts. How, what are the technical issues in terms of like lighting and glare in the whiteboard and, you know, and, you know tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll <coughs> we'll jump in here too. But what, what I've seen is, um, so right now it, it works pretty well under pretty good lighting conditions, right? An Achilles heel of ours right now is glare, right? If there's a really big spot, a blinding glare, um, you'll probably want to move your device around a little bit to find a good, a good spot for it. Um, but yeah, de dealing with different types of shadows and things like that, we're just getting better and better. So right now it's pretty functional, but partly why we're, um, we're raising money on Kickstarter is to uh, you know, spend that money on you know, refining our algorithms and getting it better and better, because we know we can make it really good in you know, many lighting conditions. And I don't know if you have more to add. Uh, yeah, just a little bit more. So another issue similar to Glenn is also this question is a different angle to the board. Um, I had on one side my mirror, you can speak on one side of down and the other. So there's also going to be more civilization there, so that it's a very hard issue to tackle for the computer. 
Uh, so we do have some of it already done. It's so far. Guys involved with GoToMeeting, they've launched a GoToMeeting. I'm not aware. Did it? Did it? Uh, GoToMeeting, you know, the yeah. Uh, implementation system. I, I'm aware of GoToMeeting. I didn't know that they. Yeah, I, I mean, I've used it last week. Oh, interesting. And, uh, put my phone in front of the whiteboard, almost, almost identical. Oh, my. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool app 1.21 gigawatts is possible. <laughs> yeah, as soon as it moves, right, where you know it has motion detectors and we're sensing that and our application knows that. So if it's moved substantially, um, it starts to try to recalibrate five of those four corners, assuming that you've moved it and not, right? Great question. Uh, it's a monthly subscription. And so um, but if you join our Kickstarter. And backups, you're going to get a great discount. Uh, how many people can join a session? Is there a, a limit? Or? Well, it, theoretically, no. Uh, we haven't really done a lot of load testing yet, so I wish I could. I mean, I don't know if you have any specific answer at this point. Uh, no, well, the, the way our client works, so the the client's basically just about to so In theory, you can connect as many people as want to participate in that session. Um, as far as load right now, we're extremely big essentially. So, um, it, like, we're removing some of the stuff, like the person, the, like, we're removing so it becomes more closer to a slideshow on the video, but shouldn't be a problem in the long run. We're still working right now. Like, Joseph kind of done a whole lot of work. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Sure. So, it takes back. Say again? Text stack? Yeah, text stack. Tech stack. Tech technology stack. stack. Oh, technology, technology stack. stack. Um, well, it's right now just iOS, um, open CV, if you guys know computer vision, uh, running on iOS. And on the back end, um, Node and Parse. It's all this. Do you encrypt the data that goes to the end end? Or? We don't really deliberately or anything, but it's SSL, so we don't have an encryption layer ourselves. So Yes, yeah, the, the section as well as the individual frames that you sort of say, like in the song video. <coughs> Any uh, other any OCR type ideas about translating what's written? Yeah, ideas, definitely. I mean, when you save it to Evernote, that's sort of done for you because nicely they have that. Um, kind of debating where that fits on our product roadmap and some other cool features like um, you know when you draw that board chart with the rectangle, should we transform that into a you know, rectangle, should we turn that into things like different types of documents, right? So that'll be, you know, the more and more our users ask us those types of questions, that'll start to help us prioritize um, what are the next features that we're working on. Uh, we're in a private beta right now. Uh, that's pretty like minimal viable product type of uh, small beta. And this week or next week will be on Kickstarter, so we're waiting for that whole approval process. So um, keep your eyes out for that or go there and, uh, and we'll let you know when, when that's ready. Uh, but we're going to be launching to a you know, wider group in, uh, in September. I'm guessing that you guys have already integration into printing whatever the board sign this into the common PDF and the common is that a feature that, is, that exists now or is it something that you guys are working for? It doesn't actually exist. The converting it into a PDF yeah, doesn't I, exist right now. It's pretty straightforward for us to do. Um, but you're talking about a slide deck type thing. Yeah, right? I mean I doodle something with my team. It's on the app that I wanna just PDF it for you, you can send an email just screenshot. Oh screenshot, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes?
Come join New England's largest technology meetup. Sponsor an event, present, or attend. Visit www.bostonnewtech.org.